Hi guys, welcome to another basement review by Dominius. And today we'll be looking at chapter 643 of Naruto, which just came out. Uh, so we start off with the QB basically giving Minato a big pep talk. Like, dude, none of this is your fault. You know, things were going to happen. You couldn't do anything about them. You had, you know, you, were, you did okay. We won't say you did great. He did okay. And that, that I think is funny because here you have an entity that has cursed the fourth Hokage throughout its existence in the series as its enemy of all enemies. And it's basically telling Minato, hey, you didn't do such a bad job. You know, I may not like you, but you're okay. <laughs> So, I thought that was pretty interesting. Next, we get to see Naruto's, the result of Naruto's attack on Obito. And uh, we basically see a big, large mark where his Rasengan has, I don't know, entered his body or I don't know what to say. Um... Uh, it looks like it, it created like a burn mark on him, which would be classic Rasengan. Um, and then Naruto comes back with the second Hokage and basically explains to Sasuke, explains to Minato, hey, nature energy versus nature energy, that's the only way to counteract what he's doing. So... We get, we get an explanation of why Senjutsu is so important and why it's going to be crucial in this battle, which is important because we hadn't gotten that yet. So The funny part about Sasuke and the second in this chapter is... The second's been ridiculing the fourth left and right. And that's just the way he is, I think. That's his personality. If you're not, uh, you know, somebody of caliber, somebody of the same caliber as his brother, you're fair game. <laughs> so Sasuke is basically like, when he's getting the nature versus nature chakra explanation Sasuke's like I have no idea what you're talking about but go on <laughs> you know and, and considering Sasuke is supposed to be the smarter of the two Naruto is supposed to be the rash and the guy who's going to go in and throw the first punch and Sasuke is going to be the one to analyze things and uh, and bring the brains to the party uh, I think it's a little interesting how Sasuke can't seem to fathom what's going on especially considering he's he's got these eyes here right the sharingan shouldn't he be able to see the type of chakra that obito is using as well as naruto when he goes into senjutsu mode um i guess not um but then something interesting happens the second basically says whoa this kid just noticed something. Basically, he noticed that Senjutsu works. He knows Senjutsu. And it's just like he connected with my technique like it was nothing. It's, it's almost like fighting with my brother. Is that not like the biggest insult to Hashirama ever? And also the biggest compliment to Naruto ever at the same time. And don't get me wrong, Naruto is the hero of this series. But at this point, Naruto, he isn't Tahashirama's level. Let's put it that way. I think we're getting there. And at some point in the series, he will obviously surpass Hashirama. But... He's not there yet. Let's not, you know, be shouting his praises too high here. Now, at this point, Obito summons up four big pillars that 
look like wood slash Venus flytrap slash some worm type thing. I don't know. <laughs> Um, I think the animation here could have been better because we see one of them in two instances. So it's like, okay, is he summoning just one of them or is he summoning multiples? And later on, the second basically says, oh, well, with my Thunder God technique, I can teleport away one of them. However, we only have two people who can use that sort of technique. So... We're at a point where we realize there's more than one of them. Why don't we see a wide angle shot with four of these pillars coming up? We don't. I think that's a failure on the animator's part. The next part that's interesting is Madara and Hashirama all of a sudden get thrown into the mix like, okay, you're here yet. You're still doing something. Uh, and Hashirama's begging Madara, can you hold on a second? I'll fight you. Just let me deal with that idiot over there <laughs> before we have our all-out fight to the death and you lose, obviously. Uh, and Madara is basically saying, hey, we're both corpses. I've got all day. Don't worry about that guy over there. The worst that happens is he goes all emo, and that's already happened. So, uh, in which Madara basically tells Hashirama, "Ooh, try and charge through me. See what you can do." Uh, so it's a big challenge right now between Hashirama and Madara. Typical, you know, gay sex thing, I guess. 